Yo everyone, Planetium is here. Today I'm gonna do a tutorial on how to execute Genichiro Dochis. I'll try to be as brief as possible because this fight is not very complex, but there are a few things that you need to know about it to reach a perfect consistency. This fight is basically scripted, but there are a couple of situations that can happen, and that's what I'll try to bring you in this video. I hope it can help you. Alright guys, now I'm gonna talk about the trapping setup, the position setup and the hit setup for the for the cheese so initially you guys are going to start around here the fight with genichiro and he will always open the fight in the same way he's going to roll forward and going to do a ball attack you're going to pass on at the right like he's going to be around here and you'll be around here you're going to pass on his right and you're going to going to press sprinting and when you get to this line, you you guys will see a candlestick around here. And from running in here, you guys are going to do two attacks and do a double jump on the wall like this. But on the second jump, you guys are actually going to do this and then go to the right to make your position set up. Don't press directional before jumping because otherwise this will happen okay so you need to jump once twice and then use the directional don't jump directional and use the jump again so you jump twice directional and not jump directional jump okay so it's just jump twice and go to here when you do this genichiro will uh pass right beneath you and he's gonna get trapped in here and once he's trapped in here now it's the position setup time so um this is not free this is not a free uh, position setup you cannot hit him like however you want because otherwise he's gonna block your attacks and sometimes he's gonna get out of the corner and it's really difficult to trap him again so you basically have only one chance if you miss it it's better just to reset and retry your setup until you make it consistent okay so if you guys want to know my uh, position setup, I'm going to tell you guys in this video. Uh, but this is not a rule. My setup is not the same as the other runners. So you guys have to just practice and find the one which is the most comfort for you. Okay. So, But my setup is this one here. I use this mark on the wall. This one. That is my head zone. To actually look at it straight look at it don't look like this you move your camera and move your character as well you tap you tap forward to make him look face this way and not the the wall entirely make him look diagonally and then you start your hits okay so i'm gonna use the monocular here so you guys can see the the mark i'm talking about i'm also leaving a an image of the place i'm i use the my setup is it this mark here like this knife mark thing on the on the wall i don't know how to count to how to call it but it's just this mark on the center i'll leave the the image as well in this video but yeah once you're here genitro trapped and you're here so you're going to start your hit uh your um hit setup so the hit setup as i said you always do one, two, three, four, five, and then you look back to one. So what you want to do is do the four hits facing this way. But in the fifth hit, when the animation is already happening, you're going to turn your character or your camera. As I said, it's your preference. You need to find wherever is more comfortable for you. But uh, you cannot turn your character or your camera. You cannot try to land the fifth hit too early otherwise it's gonna deflect it or block it if you hit him if it actually connects you were really lucky because that was not supposed to happen so if you do this this is okay so but if you try to do this he will block it 100 percent you might have not seen the difference but when i get to the fight itself it will make a bit clearer so you don't one, two, three, four. You delay it a little bit your fifth hit, and then you you turn your and then you try to land it. Okay, so 
One, two, three, four, five. 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 You're gonna always do this same way until he's dead. But there are a few things while you're doing the one, two, three, four, five cycle that can happen on the fight. And that's one of what I'm gonna show you guys right now. I'm gonna start the, the fights with him. And I'm gonna try to like voice over it to explain you guys how you should proceed with each uh, situation, okay? So, all right, let's first start with the first thing that can actually go wrong, which is the wrong running setup or wrong sprinting setup, which is this one. You pass, you pass by him, and this is the mark I said we should start our uh, double hit for for the double jump setup but i'm gonna run past it and i'm gonna go a bit further and this will happen he's gonna give your arrow at my back it's because that's exactly because i ran too further from where i should so if you go f too fast he's actually gonna try to stop you with the arrow and sometimes it's savable and sometimes it's not but um in this video i tried to save it see this is a, this was a still savable he was still trapped but it's really difficult sometimes because he actually um reacts so much faster which is this case my my hit couldn't land him he landed it first and now he's gonna run to this side and the setup's ruined see like this is basically a dead run if this happens, you should just quit out and try again the the start of the battle again. Um, now I'm gonna show you guys how the fifth hit can go wrong sometimes when you're doing the hit loop. And back to it. All right, here we go. This is the wrong fifth hit. So same thing. You do one, two, until here. Trap setup, okay. Position setup, okay. And now I'm gonna intentionally try to connect the fifth hit too early and you guys will see what happened see he deflected and he's gonna actually hit me but sometimes he can deflect it and run uh to the f to the front of the armor so he's gonna get out of the his corner and the room, the, the the setup is basically dead. Sometimes he can jump and try to leap on you, and that gives him hyper armor, so you can't get away of that. And usually he's gonna do a Mikiri counter right after, and that's gonna hit you 100%. So the setup over there is dead as well. And sometimes he's gonna actually just hit and stay where he is, which is would be the good RNG if you mess this up, which is gonna happen here. See, he just hit me, but he's still in the corner, so I can still try to do the loop. And it works. Okay, so this was just an example of how the fifth hit is going wrong. So keep in mind, if your fifth hit is being deflected, you are turning, you're, uh, you're trying to land, you're trying to connect the fifth hit too early. You need to wait for the animation for a little bit. You need to delay your fifth hit so it can connect. Otherwise, if you try to hit, to land it too early, he's going to block it. Just keep that in mind. It's just a, an easy troubleshoot. So now I'm going to show you guys how the perfect fight should go. And all the other situations in the, in the next videos. So let it rip. All right, uh, this is an example of a really good fight and how the fight should go. And in this video, I can show you guys what can happen while you're doing the loop. Um, some of you probably already know what can happen, but I'm going to show you guys here right now. So here it is. I started my hit animation on the on the right spot. I do two hits like this, is the candlestick I was talking about. So I do one, two. I didn't destroy it, but it doesn't matter. You do one, two, you jump twice, and after the jump, you hold the, the directional to get on the, on the position. And this is it. He's trapped, and we are in the other corner. So we're going to start the, the hits now. So we do one, two, three, four, five. 
one two three four five and here i want to call you your attention for something that will happen right now when i'm on the second hit when i'm about to start my third hit you see genichiro like stepping back a few times that means he'll actually try to do the arrow attack like the attack that he goes backwards and then he throw four arrows at you and he jumps the thing is this attack is cancelable i don't know if this word actually exists but you can cancel it on specific hits of your string so take note of this if you are about to get to land the hit to land the fourth or fifth hit that will 100% sure cancel his move if you're on the first or the second that will not cancel his move you can cancel you can cancel it in first so but i don't recommend you guys to try to do that um because it can mess it up a little bit you can lose a lot of hp sometimes you can even die depending on the way you um on how was the way to get to the to the fight sometimes the night jar could have like deal a lot of damage on you and that's not very interesting and in the third hit it's rng i can't I, I can't tell you guys like why it's rng but sometimes you can cancel it and sometimes it's not so you take the risk i wouldn't take it if i was beginning like if i was just starting this so first second hit avoid third hit it's a risk fourth and fifth hit you don't need to worry you will cancel this which is gonna happen right now so one two three see i'm on the third hit and he's about to jump when i go for my fourth hit he will i will cancel his jumps and he won't do any attack he's just gonna fall on the ground like this see giving an example again so one two so he started doing the the animation right here you guys need to learn how to read this when he's actually gonna jump and in which hit you are so you can cancel if you don't feel safe for that you avoid it and how do you avoid it i'm gonna show in the in the next video but it's actually going towards him trying to get in the same corner as he is so the arrow's gonna gonna go over you I'm gonna show in the next video but if you're that's what just as i said first second hit first all second hit you avoid and the third hit you take the risk if you want fourth and fifth hit you will cancel it 100 percent as i'm doing in here i just got my third hit and as soon as he jumps i'm gonna land his my fourth hit and it will be cancelled just like this this is the fourth hit now I am turning my camera to the fifth. So, and this is the end. This is it. Once he does that, he probably won't do it anymore. He just tried to do it once in first or in second phase. If he didn't do it in, in first phase, he'll probably try to do it in second. But in second phase, something odd can happen as well. If his posture bar right here, so, we're going to the second phase here. Get the death blow, and you go to the second phase. Sometimes he tries to do in the very beginning of the second phase. But the thing is, if he tries, if he uh, kind of frets to do that, if he does the animation of stepping backward, if he has this little bit of posture uh, built, he won't jump. So you don't need to panic, okay? But that's a very, very specific and rare case it's really rare for actually that to happen but i'm just trying to be the most detailed as possible here so it can happen on second phase if it didn't happen on first it will happen on second but in the, in second phase sometimes he can bait you it's just a bait he's just gonna do the backward steps he's not gonna actually jump and try to arrow you okay so this is the end of the fight this is the second phase as you guys can see he won't try to do that because he already did on first phase and this is the end there's a little thing about the death blow between the first death blow like his first his first death blow on the on the first phase 
that I need to talk about, but I I've already have a video for that as well, and I'll go sh and I'll show you guys later. Now I'm gonna actually show you how to avoid the arrow attack if it comes on your first or second hit. All right, so this is how you avoid the arrow attack. He gave me the arrow attack in the second um hit of my string so that's not I, I will not be able to cancel it like i did in the previous example so let's see closely i do the, the thing i do the double double hit i do the double jump i'm on the i'm on the position and this start the the loop one two three four five it's at the very end three four five one two three four five one and as you guys can see here he started his animation like off uh do the back steps and then he's about to jump right here so i just hit it my first my first hit here and he already jumped see um i won't be able to do the second hit so the best way to actually avoid the arrow attack is uh, dashing towards his corner so the arrows go over you instead of hitting you so in this video he actually managed to hit one arrow at me it's not the ideal the ideal is you just go to his corner as soon as you see the the anim the backstep animation so you don't get any arrows but he landed one at me, at me here, but that's not a problem. Sometimes it can be a problem. It depends on how uh, your HP actually is. Um, because sometimes you can get a lot of damage coming on the, on the way to the boss fight. So I dashed to his, to his uh, corner. I waited for him. And then, as you guys could see here, I went back to the corner... For the hits walking this is very important come back walking and not dashing is really important i'm gonna also uh um uh, what's the word damn i'm gonna also show you guys here in this video i'm so sorry my english is terrible i know um but yeah this is how you avoid it as soon as you see the back steps you dash towards him so you don't get any any hit and after the arrows are done, you end, you go back to your corner, walking, and then you continue the hits. Just like this. It's just normal. The death blow thing, I'm also going to show up later. But yeah, this is how to avoid. Uh, keep in mind, always remember, first and second hit, you won't, uh, you won't cancel it. In third hit, you might cancel it. In fourth and fifth hit, you will cancel it, 100%. Okay, so uh, now I'm gonna um, show the example of the how the death blow on the first phase can sometimes mess you up with the with the position with the trapped uh, with the boss being trapped, and also the I'm gonna show the the dash returning for the for your corner how bad it can be. So in this example. He also gave me the arrow attack when I was about to land my second hit. So I did, I dodged it, but instead of walking back to my corner, I actually dodged to my corner and then I tried to hit him again. And you guys can, you guys will see what happens. Four, five, one, two. So... He was going for the third, actually. It's not the second one. It's the third. So, I dodged towards him. That was a bit too late. But it was... Uh, what I want to show here is the... Um, is the returning to the to the corner with dashing. And as you guys can see, I'm on, I'm on the dashing animation. And then, and then I'll try to hit. And... It's clear that this hit is different from the first hit of the string if you are just uh, stopped right there, you, if you're just standing up. 
because I'm getting out of the animation of dashing. So this hit is way different. You hit like this. Why are you first hit to this? It's completely different. It's this side or this side. I can't remember well, but you're doing like basically spin. This spin usually doesn't hit Genichiro. It's what's going to happen in here. And while this happens, Genichiro could give me a bad RNG and try to hit me or try to jump or try to get out of the corner. This gives him enough time to react. You don't want to do this hit. Not at all. You always want to avoid it. And to avoid it, you just need not to dash. To dash and hit. So that's why you always walk back to the corner and you hit. Because if you dash, this is gonna happen and this can mess you up. He can get out of the corner completely. Here he gave me good RNG so I could still make him uh, trapped in the corner. But that was lucky. That was a bit lucky. It is complete RNG, but that was a bit that would be the good RNG. And this this part now it's what I'm gonna talk about the death blow. So sometimes I would strongly recommend you guys to get around here make your character at this position here make your character at here and then get the death blow because that will push genichiro to the corner here we know so he won't get trapped out of the corner and what's the problem if i try to get the death blow straight from here uh sometimes it can happen what's gonna happen right now I don't even need to explain what happened here because I really don't know how to explain but you guys could clearly see that both me and Genichiro got out of our corners and sometimes this can happen so brutally that Genichiro will get out of this cor of his corner as well. Here I was lucky again because in the death blow Genichiro walked back and walked back to the corner here. So I could just walk and continue the for the second phase. Always walking, remember. Always walking back. So I was really lucky here. So but this is the question when you sometimes can have can get a little bit of trolling and Genichiro actually you and Genichiro getting like both expelled from the from the corner and Genichiro won't be easy to get in this corner again. So, yeah, that's why I, the, I always recommend, at least in the beginning, you do this movement. You stop right here. You move, put your character here, and then you get the death blow. So, it can push him to the corner, and you make sure he won't get out of position. Because if you try this one, that is in the video right now, sometimes you, it's pretty rare as well. But you can get trolled. And he will get out of the corner. And it's going to be really, really painful to get him, him on this corner again. I got really lucky in here. You guys have no idea. But, yeah. I think this is all I can tell about Genichiro. This is a very detailed guide. It will, I, I think it's much longer than I, than I expected. Than I wanted to. But, um, I think all the, all the possible questions are answered here and if you guys want to quest any to ask anything else the comment the comments are there and i'll gladly um respond you all so yeah i i hope i could help with this video i wish you guys good luck at the at your runs or at your playthrough i don't know it, this video is for everyone it's for newcomers it's for speedrunners that are actually having problems with this um this setup so I gave you guys my setup, but uh, reinforcing it, it's completely up to you. You have to find what's more comfortable to you. And for you casual player as well, that's tired of Genichiro and just want to, him su to watch him suffer, that's for you too. So yeah, I, I hope I could help you. And I see you guys in the next video. Thanks for watching and goodbye.